Hey, Scott Austin here, and in this video, I'm going to give you some code that you can use to add accordion functionality onto your product page in the Flex theme. So if I scroll down to the bottom of this product page here, this is what I mean by accordion functionality. I like to put the shipping and return uh, policies right onto the product page in this accordion uh, function. So it doesn't, you know, take up vertical space, but people can click on it and, you know, read more information about it if they want to. And what I'll also do is I'll add code to this for things like a description about the vendor. You know, so if it's, you know, from Nike, I'll say about Nike and have a little, you know, paragraph or, or a couple lines of, you know, text about Nike and whatever other information. So you can build on this code that I'm going to give you and add more logic to your accordions to have more information stacked inside of the accordion. So quickly show you how this works inside of theme customization. Because what we're going to do is we're going to make a section um, in Online Store 2.0. Right? We're going to make a section. So that's this here, this product accordion section. And I can take that section and move it anywhere that I want to. And which is you know, the beautiful sections anywhere functionality. You can move things up and down. So what we're going to do is we're going to create two files. One is a, in our, so now I'm in edit the theme, one is a section, and that one is called product accordion, or product underscore accordion. I do a double underscore on the naming convention that uh, Shop or the Out of the Sandbox team uses within the Flex theme. So if I go down to my sections here, right, they've got product double underscore breadcrumb, so I created a product double underscore accordion. And then the other file we're going to create is a snippet file, and that I call product dash accordion dot liquid. And we'll, you know, we'll store that in our snippets folder. And you'll see here it's going to be right there. So what you'll want to do to start is add a new section by clicking this little add a new section right here. And then you'll also want to add a new snippet using that link right there and use the code that's going to be on the below the video. If you're looking at this on YouTube, there'll be a link in the YouTube comments to go to my uh, J Puma blog where you'll see the code snippets there. So you'll copy and paste the code for those. And this section file is actually pretty simple. I'm using this, the standard section functionality, which puts spacing above and below the element that you can vary it. So if you're in theme customization under product accordion, the only settings over here are the spacing settings and the width that it takes. So there's no content specific settings. Those are the generic settings that almost all sections in the Flex theme have. And then you'll see here, we also, one other thing is we have this specified only for product templates. Um, because this product accordion is going to call the product object in the Shopify data model, you don't want to add this component to an article page because it won't work, or to the home page because it also won't work there because it's it's coded to look for product information. So um, that's why we have the templates product only. So and you could delete this if you wanted to because you could use this accordion in other areas, but I I like to have this one just for the product. And now here's the product accordion snippet. And you'll see, you know, we're loading up a JavaScript file that the Flex theme uses. Um, and you'll want to make sure, you know, if it's a couple of years after I create this video, this file name might have changed, although this has been working for the past year or two for me. Um, and if you want to add more accordions, so the DD, the DT, right, that function is the element that goes here. The shipping is in the DT. And this other text down here is in the DD HTML element. So if you wanted to add more, like one for a product vendor, you would go in here and do a DT. Well, I actually, the way I normally do this, just copy and paste, copy, paste. Now this one here, we might say, put an if-then statement around it. So if product dot vendor equals Nike, and 
and then at the end of the DD here, we'll put an end if, and then here I might change the heading from shipping to Nike, and the content, instead of it being the shop shipping policy, I might change that to instead be uh, pages.nike.content or something to that effect. You know, normally I store that information in a page, but wherever you're storing that, it could be in a meta field or something else. But you can put an if statement around the DT and the DD to only show it on certain product pages. Right now, the way it's working is the refund policy and the shipping policy are showing on all product pages, but you might want to have product specific information um, about the vendor, or it could be based on the product type or other information. Does a meta field exist? So there's lots of functionality um, that you can add into this product accordion snippet if you want to. So check out the code snippets, add them to your store. This is, like I said, only going to work for the Flex theme, online store 2.0 version and beyond. But if you're on the Flex theme, uh, this will help you get started with accordions on your product page. Thanks for watching.